The last five years has seen a dramatic increase in the number of earthquakes in Oklahoma. 10 years ago, there was a magnitude four earthquake roughly every 10 years in Oklahoma. Today, there's a magnitude four earthquake almost every week. About two and a half years ago, we began to look at this question. What is going on in Oklahoma? Is it hydraulic fracturing? Is it the injection of hydraulic fracturing flowback water? Or was it something else? Well, the answer turned out to be something else. In north central Oklahoma, they are producing oil from reservoirs that were never produced before because along with that oil, tremendous volumes of water are co-produced. Whenever water is co-produced with oil, it's typically re-injected. And it's typically re-injected back into the oil producing formation. So you take out oil and water and you put back water and this keeps the pressure from dropping too much. Problem in Oklahoma is that they're producing so much water they couldn't easily put it back into the producing formations. Therefore, they found a disposal zone, a deeper disposal zone called the Arbuckle Formation. The Arbuckle Formation is very thick, it's very porous, it's very permeable, and it's been used for injection without any problems for many, many years. But now, the rates of injection started to increase very dramatically in just the last few years. Now, one characteristic of the Arbuckle Formation that turned out to be unfortunate is that it sits directly on top of crystalline basement. What that means is that the fluid going into the Arbuckle Formation, which is changing its pressure, right? You keep injecting more water and the pressure is slowly going up. It's not going up very much, but that pressure change is occurring over a very large area because there are literally hundreds and hundreds of these disposal wells. The pressure spreads out in the Arbuckle Formation. It finds potentially active faults in the crystalline basement. The water pressure penetrates those faults, and then the earthquakes occur. What we know is that what the water pressure does is it actually pushes the two sides of a fault apart. It actually makes it easier for the earthquake to occur. So if you have a fault that already has stress on it, that's gonna produce an earthquake at some time in the future, suddenly the water pressure sort of unlocks that fault and triggers the release. So the injection is causing a fluid pressure change at depth. The fluid pressure increase on already stressed faults is triggering earthquakes. So what's happening in Oklahoma is unrelated to hydraulic fracturing. It's unrelated to hydraulic fracturing flowback water. It's caused by the massive injection of produced water. Now, one thing that has to be recognized is that the earthquakes that are occurring are releasing energy that was stored in the rocks as the result of natural geologic processes. We're having earthquakes occur in only a few years that might have taken hundreds or thousands of years to have occurred without the fluid injection. To deal with the problem of produced water, the problem we're struggling with in Oklahoma, the most logical solution would have you re-inject that water into the producing formations and not down into the Arbuckle. Now this will take time, it'll be expensive, but it will control the earthquakes.